Agony at Alcatraz, or at an Alcatraz, you know, after I'd come out and stuff. It was amazing. It was really, 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 really cool. And I think I went through the most terrifying bits of my life already. Like, what's the worst that can happen? The crowd hates you, but I know they, I knew they wouldn't. It was incredible. I mean, a sea of people when there was like <laughs> fucking three or four different mosh pits in different areas. It was just, every time we go to Belgium, it doesn't matter. Belgian people aren't like that. They don't give a fuck. When I'm on stage, I'm fleshless. I'm almost tapping into the shaman within. I collect the energies either in the room or in the festival and I magically put it into one little potion. And all the 100,000 kids that are out there, there's a circle of energy inside of my hand imaginatively and then I just go and whatever the people are given to me is given right back to them. How did that make you feel though, that moment when you just sort of realized that all these great tours and all this like opportunity to connect with fans and your audience has just gone out the window? I always look at things as being as a blessing in disguise. Of course I crave human touch and I want to devour a million human beings right now. But uh, listen, I'm alive another day. This is the way it's got to go down. I have to pay homage to that and, you know, respect what Earth is trying to tell us. Come on. Yeah.